we're gonna do today is we're gonna carve a golfer. Now, this is the pattern that I used for the uh, Memorial Day um, carving. And all I did was just, the, the thing about patterns is you can you can adjust them however you want to. I made the head a little bit bigger for this one, the golfer. And uh, I brought the back out just a little bit and the front out some like that, in other words. So basically, you can, you can carve so many different things from, from the same type of pattern. And when I cut it out, and it's about, uh, oh, it's probably about uh, an inch, three quarters to two inches, in other words, thick, inch and seven eighths. And uh, what I want to do is to carve a little golfer out of this, the same type of pattern. And so I simply drew the pattern out, and it's a thicker, thicker brand. So let's carve a little golfer, all right? Let's do that. All right. Uh, I cut in between the legs, in other words, a little bit. But let's go ahead and just take our head and uh, let's just get that situated right there. In other words, where our head is. And the same thing here. We're going to just sort of Of course we have to bring that head down. It's going to come down a lot. Now I didn't sharpen my knife and if you just wait just one second I'm going to sharpen it a little bit more. And when I said sharpen, I meant strop it, in other words. Okay. So, much better, much, much better. So, the first thing I want to do is bring down the head. That's the first thing I, I want to do on both sides, is bring the head down. Now everybody knows somebody that plays golf. And there's been a lot of carvers that's carved a lot of golf guys, in other words. And this is just one way to do it. This is only this is not the only way to do it. But this is one way that we can do it. As I keep doing bringing down from both sides, I kind of look at the middle here. And I look at, uh, it's going to be looking down, so a golfer is usually le looking down at his, uh, and I'm going to use the no face technique on this one just as well. Now the reason you have the wideness of it is because the arms are going to come down um, in this area right in here. So we're going to just sort of do this right here. And do this just, just sort of smooth this out in here. And we continue 
to bring the head down. I think this is going to be enough right now on the head until we sort of work on the body a little bit and get, get some dimensions on that. Now, what this is going to do is the arms are going to come down somewhat like this. Basically like this and they're going to meet together. And then you sort of come out and you come up like this and come out and come up like this, in other words. See, the arms are going to meet down like this, okay? So, let's work on that just a little bit. I'm going to take and I'm going to cut. Now like this because the hands sort of come together in this this while and then then we cut them big uh, of course the arms are probably brought down but we cut them a little bit big of course because then we can bring them down but we want them to come we want them to sort of uh, they'll come out just a little bit from the head but but we're gonna All right, now this will all be brought out in here and cut through there. See that? Now let's look at it for a minute. You see how as the head comes down even more, in other words, and it's going to, then we have the shoulders here and they'll be rounded off up in here like that coming from the back as he's thinned off. And we're going to, actually, it will come down even sort of like this, in other words. So let's go ahead and cut just that, just this area in here to bring those arms this way. from both sides we're going to bring this down like this okay now basically what happens is that the we're just going to arms are going to come up like this now they're too big of course and we're going to cut them down we're going to do that for sure we're going to cut them down but we want them big at first okay we want them big at first and then we will cut them down to the way we want them I always start off with something a lot bigger and then I cut it down to the size that I want it Just sort of like this. Okay? So what we are doing is establishing our boundaries here of where our shoulders and all that will be. Okay. Okay. And this will, of course, come down to give the, the hands and the shoulders um, what we need, what they need as far as that's concerned. Now, of course, the shoulders are 
way too big in here and they will also come down but we want to just like that now let's come on down here on our shoes and let's go ahead and establish where our shoes are going to be just sort of like that now the inseam of the leg is going to have to come up some it's not quite high enough Now, we slowly begin to remove this wood from Okay? Because he's going to be a lot thinner than this. Once again, you start off with a larger piece and you begin to work down that, that, uh, As we're working this down, and we're just kind of shaping these, getting these shoes shaped a little bit. Of course, they're way too big. They're going to have to come down. Now, what, what basically happens here is that bring this head down some more so we have our shoulders here and basically what what becomes of this is that We begin to remove this further out just a little bit from the head. From both sides. Just sort of like that, in other words. And we begin to take more off into here as well. And sort of bring that bring those arms back just a little bit okay now let's just go ahead and bring this area and the back back here let's bring it down 
because from the back, of course, our figure is too fat, basically. And that's what I'm talking about here as you... Now, he, he's beginning to sort of take shape as far as if you look at him right now, you see the shoulders and you see the the hands as they come down uh, on the on the uh, uh, golf club. And of course, that will all be brought down, as I say, once we thin this all up. Away. and bring all of this down back here so so you start out with a much larger piece of wood and um, you know it gets much much smaller as you go along <laughs> Okay, now what we want to do is, is these shoulders up here, we want to bring those down. So that the head has more of a, and now do you see that what I'm talking about? I'm going to bring that down so that the head has the ability to um, okay. Now, if we look at the figure, it's still way too big, so we have to come back over here and we have to start bringing this area down, of course. The, from both sides, we, we began to bring the wood Let's just cut this little bit in here. So we're bringing mostly from the outside because we want to bring this down. Because the legs are pretty much straight when a golfer is standing, I'm going to take all this off in here and give it sort of a straight look. There we go. Now, now uh, let's just stop for a minute. Just a minute. Let me take a little bit more off over here. All right. Let's look at our figure now from all sides. This is what we have here so far. Uh. Okay. See? From the side here.
And then we start bringing the arms down too because the arms are pretty much straight. They're not bent, pretty much straight as they come down. All right, I think it's time to let you go now. I think I've used up quite a bit of my time here. And um, we will come back and we will continue with the figure. All right?